Good morning from Capitan, New Mexico on moving day. That's the RV, and this is where the bomb went off. I cannot believe I have got this much stuff to move to Cloudcroft to that little place. I mean, look at that. My, that car is slammed. I hope I don't have it overloaded. I mean, I got every possible space stuffed. <laughs> Think I'm kidding? <laughs> look at this crap. But I didn't, I didn't forget my beer. <laughs> anyway, what else? I'll show you some more. That's the frozen stuff and fridge stuff right there. And more stuff. More stuff. And I didn't get it all. That's Believe it or not, I still have more stuff. So anyway, guys, I'm fixing to walk back in the RV and just triple check and be sure I haven't... I don't know how I could have left anything. Uh... Well, I, there's still, I, I don't have my canned goods, and there's some stuff in the refrigerator that I couldn't get in here. I just don't have the space, but I've got, I got a place to sit, and that's it. You got that little point in there? But anyway, let's go back in this place and see if I didn't overlook something obvious. I took the air conditioner out of the window, and uh, of course, I've got, I've still got all that stuff up there, and I didn't, wasn't able to take any of this stuff uh, this trip i'll come back to check the mail and i'll get some more stuff but anyway let me pause this just a second while i look at my list yeah i think i got everything i'm locked up water's off uh what else uh, i can't think of anything right now so i guess we're on the road to cloudcroft to stay for a while I'm not sure how long. I may live there forever. I might live there a day. Who knows? No, no, no. After doing all that, no, no, no. It's it's a job, man. I'm telling you. Just moving stuff out of this to that to Cloudcroft is a pain. So let me think here. Water's off. Door's locked. Door's locked. That's locked. Uh, that's locked back here. Okay, well, let's get in the car and, you know, if we forgot anything, we can always drive back over here. Not that far. It takes about an hour and a half, but it's only like, I don't know, 70 miles or so. I got 300. And, let's see if it'll show it here. Yeah, see the range there? 358 miles. Pretty good, huh? Not bad for a Chevy Bolt. Eat your heart out, Tesla. Uh, I got the towel up there, but we're right in the direct sunlight. We'll be pulling out of here in just a second. But uh, let me pause again. I want to check some more stuff. Well, on the road again, guys. We're going to Cloudcroft. We'll turn out of the sun in just a second here and get the glare off the windshield, but I got to clean it anyway. <coughs> but away we go. You know, I've been loading stuff. Well, yesterday I loaded, I loaded everything I could that I didn't need, you know, overnight. And then this morning, I've been loading for at least a full hour, at least. So here we go, and uh, off to see the wizard. Uh, how's this going to work out? I have no clue. It's just... A hell of an adventure. I was sitting there the other day with nothing to do. Now I'm like the old woman in the shoe. I got so much to do, I don't know what to do. So, But having said that, guys, we've got about an hour and a half drive to Cloudcroft. And this will probably be the only video I do today. Well, I may, well yeah, today. And then, because I've got an explosion, i got to get out of it. I mean, i got stuff, well... I just go bag by bag because there is no order in any of this. I mean, it's not like, you know, this bag is kitchen, this bag is stuff, this is that. No, no. It's a random sample of the entire household uh, in each bag. Because whenever I started filling one up, I was trying to fill them so that things wouldn't rattle as I was driving down the highway since I'm an old class CRVer and you're painfully aware of things that rattle when you're driving down the highway so there's nothing rattling right now that doesn't mean that there won't be 
But here we go. Can I see out the back? Mm, I can see the tops of the cars. <laughs> but I got the side mirrors and all that stuff. We're good. So, we're off to see the wizard. How's this going to work out, Rusty? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm uh, you know, I'm not positive or negative on it. I'm just neutral because I want to keep an open mind because I don't want to, you know, make a big mistake, you know, right now. And I, mean, I know some people are interested in buying the lot and buying uh, the Capitan lot and the RV, and that's fine, you know. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. You know, give me a month or so, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, if I'm contented there and, you know, everything's kind of going smooth, uh, you know, I'd have to take a hard look at uh, doing that. Why? Well, you know, if I'm not going to have the RV, then I don't really need the lot in Capitan. Because that's what it's designed for, is to park an RV and be there about six months a year. So, uh, on and on we go. Uh, where it stops, I made a list. I mean, I had, boy, I'm a list maker, okay? I mean, I had a list and was checking it twice. And uh, so, but yeah, the car sure rides different with all this weight in it, I'm telling you. Yeah, what I'm gonna try too, I'll tell you this in advance. You know, from, from my place in Cloudcroft, which my, my place is three miles, I, mean, I, get, I don't know what direction that would be. I, I'm, I'm gonna say east of uh, uh, Cloudcroft on the road that goes to Mayhill. But from there to Alamogordo is about a 30 minute drive approximately. And, but it's all down the mountain, run boy run. So I thought, well, you know, why would I want to charge the RV at home there when I'm going to coast down the mountain using the regenerative braking and use that, you know, like, let's just say, I, if I started down the mountain with 200 miles of range, when I got to the bottom, I would probably have over 300 miles of range. Then I go do my shopping and all my stuff and I start back up the mountain and probably end up close to even money, around 200 miles of range. And if that's the case, then I don't need to charge my RV at home. I just use the braking and charge it going down the mountain, coming back up. You know, I'll, I'll fill it up going down, burn it up coming up, and uh, we'll see how that works. But my theory is it, it should work like it did when I went up to, uh, uh, what was that, a Ski Apache, I didn't go all the way to the top, 11,000 feet. So I went up to about nine or 10,000 feet from, and I, I started off with 100, what did I, oh, I had 280 miles of range when I started up the mountain. When I got to that pullout about, I don't know, 10 miles up or whatever it was, I, I had dropped 80 miles. But when I came back down, I had regained that 80 miles plus five or six miles using the regenerative braking on the electric vehicle. So we'll see how all that goes, you know. But anyway, I'm just, I'm just rattling on here out of nervous energy because I'm dreading, oh, I'm dreading <sighs> unpacking all this stuff. Well, I say I'm dreading, it's not that bad. You know, what I do is I just take it one bag at a time. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. And, uh, but you know, I, I'm amazed, man. But you know, even if I was a minimalist, yeah, you're still going to have stuff in the refrigerator. You're still going to have stuff to fix your breakfast. You're still going to have stuff to fix your lunch. So you got some kitchen stuff. You're probably going to have some canned goods. Uh, you know, you can have a can opener, knife, fork, spoon, plate, whatever, drinking cup. Uh, you got clothing of some kind. You got bedding of some kind. You got bath stuff of some kind. And, you know, on and on it goes, you know. And, uh, you know, of course, I got a TV and that that sound bar and i actually got it in here I, I, I couldn't if you ask me where it was right now i couldn't tell you i just know it's in the car that's all i need to know and we're on the way to who knows <laughs> you know this is july the 19th <clears throat> 2023 i want to put this in the video because uh uh a year or two i'll watch from now i'll watch it and, and either i will still be using the place in Cloudcroft, or I'll be wondering why I bought it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it doesn't matter. It's it's a life thing, and you know we're living one day at a time. And you know something else I mentioned: as you get older, your 
your skin gets real thin and all you old timers know that you know if you bump your arm against anything reasonably you know like the corner of a cabinet or something like that then it, it'll tear the skin just like a sheet of paper and uh and, and you'll you'll bleed, bleed profusely so I, I did i bumped my arm this morning and and anyway you know you know the drill all you old folks but having said that we're cruising along here about 55 miles an hour which is good for me again there's no hurry uh, i'm moving to a new place i've even got some gallon jugs of filtered water i got my fan i got uh, never mind i could go over the list by the time i got through uh we still we, we would be at cloudcroft it would take a it would take an hour and a half to go over but you know just driving slow and enjoying the drive uh it's a uh, it's okay so it's a nice drive and i go through right through downtown ruidoso why because i'm in no hurry i mean i have to keep telling myself I'm in no hurry, I'm in no hurry, I'm in no hurry. Don't be in a hurry, Rusty, slow down, slow down. But even though you say that, you still hurry. I mean, it's just the way we are, guys. You know, and we're all about the same, there's no tricks there. You know, you know, we all buy crap we don't need. And, and uh, that's the way it is, you know, it's that old instinct of survival. And having said that, guys, from getting close to Ruidoso on Highway 48 from Capitan, New Mexico at 8.42 a.m. And it shows to be 85 here right now on the uh, dash thing. And uh, that's pretty damn. It's supposed to be 95 in Capitan. You got me? I, I cannot believe that. I mean, you know, last year at the same time, it was, it was 85 for the high. You know, is this just a, a short-lived issue? I, I don't know. I, I, you know, you hear... You hear what you want to hear, and you see what you want to see. Those that think it's forever, that's what they hear. Those that think it's short term and it does, it's not real, that's what they hear. Is that bad or good? There is no good or bad in that issue at all. It's the way it is, and we can't do a damn thing about it. So why worry about it? With that in mind, thumbs up, car, pay, diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want anytime but if you think about it use the link to amazon products in the description of all of my videos why because it doesn't cost you one penny okay drink plenty of water stretch walk stand guard at the door of your mind enjoy your life adios bye bye